it's fine to be upset with, and certainly to criticize both the bannings and the rules to hit, which I myself will do here in just a moment. But targeting individuals with harassment, doxing, and threats of violence is absolutely dangerous. There is no excuse for such behavior, and it needs to stop. And there are still more hard truths to the situation as, speaking of fair criticism of organizations and their decisions, I feel strongly that Wizards of the Coast should be criticized not only for creating cards like Jeweled Lotus and Dockside Distortionist to begin with, but for reprint policies and their signs. Their values are so artificially high that them being banned can cause too much financial hardship and distress. Had Dockside Distortionist been properly reprinted over the past few years, it being banned now might not have carried such a financial sting if it was worth $8 instead of so there are many hard truths to discuss here. The complex issue and a lot to dive into. Always, I ask only. What the fuck was that? Let's begin with the most important thing surrounding these fans. Over the past few days, the backlash that we've seen since announcement has spiraled well beyond the realm of acceptable The members of the Rules Committee and their advisory group 